Welcome back to uh, part four of Let's Play Resident Evil Zero. Uh, I again have to set this shit to private, so every video is going to be like this until, unfortunately, I find a way to be able to preemptively set it to private. <coughs> Pardon me. All right, so in the last part, from my knowledge, um, so we ended up finishing the good statue. Uh, we don't need we don't need any ink ribbons. So we're not going to keep them. What does she have? Um, actually, I have a bit of an idea here. Where did I put the grenade launcher? Where, oh, where is the grenade launcher? It's probably off screen somewhere. I can see something shining. Is that it? It is. All right, cool. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to combine these, which will give her an inventory space. And then Billy has an inventory space. Um, fuck. Uh, oh wait, no, hold on. I know exactly where I gotta go now. All right. Uh, all right. So I'll go you're check over there. no, yeah. no. We're not starting today like this. Come on. Let's go. Yeah. So in the last part, if I remember correctly, we opened some doors. There were three doors in total: the main entrance, one up here, and then one in the area where we fought the centipede. Dude, what am I stuck on? And the first one that we're going to go to is going to be the one in this area. I really hope I didn't fuck that up. Uh, okay, let's go this way. Um, yeah, this is the room. Now, I don't remember what was in here. I'm hoping not a lot of enemies. Please? Oh, man, really? Fuck. Billy, do you want to do something, bud? Thank you, Jesus Christ. There's gonna be another one. Billy, I'm gonna need your backup, bud. Alright, he's dead. Okay. So, um. Right. I'll go. Okay. So, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come in here. Now, the reason we're doing this is because there is going to be uh, a chemical that we're going to need later, later on in the game. And if you don't get it now, you're gonna have to do a lot of backtracking to come back and grab it. So it's just more efficient for us to do it now. God. Damn it. Okay, no, we're not doing that. I did not realize that Rebecca had absolutely fuck all for ammo. So. Come on. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead. How much does he have? Okay, yeah, he is substantially more. So we're going, yeah, we're gonna go and clear this room with Billy. <laughs> I think there might be two or three zombies in here. I don't, I don't recall. Dude, no you don't. You better fucking knock that off, dude. All right, so that tank Thanks. Okay, how much bullets does she have left? Five. Okay, that's not good. Um, there is, however, an F8 spray here. But I really... Actually, I'm going to take that with Billy. Because he doesn't have any healing items on him. So let's go ahead and grab Aziz. And there's a note here on the bed. Again, feel free to pause the video and uh, read it. So yeah, this basically tells you what you need. Um, you're going to need both of these. So there's two moments in the game where you need chemicals. Um, and obviously we'll talk more about that later on. But we need red and we need... I think it's green and red actually. Yeah, we need green and red and then we need red and blue. So red uh, can only be obtained by Rebecca. So you have to come over to the green tank. Or, the green chemical, sorry. Fuck. Um, there are some blue... Hmm. No, you know what? I am going to do that. I am definitely going to do that. Alright, so we got a, a full heal, and it cures poison. Um, there's an area coming up uh, that has spiders. For all intents and purposes, the spiders themselves aren't too... They're not that big of a deal. It's more so the fucking spit that they can hit you with. If it hits you, I don't know if it's guaranteed, but it can poison you. And 
Anybody who knows anything knows that being poisoned is, in, especially in a Resident Evil game, is not a good thing. Um, I'll go check over there. Yeah. All right, so there is a puzzle in here. I, I barely call it a puzzle because it's really not that complicated. Um, just give me a sec here, guys. Sorry. I have to make sure that that is muted. And there we go. All right, so we get some hanging bullets over here, which I am absolutely going to take. And probably, yeah, there we go. So we've got a chessboard here. And literally the only thing that you have to fucking do with this entire puzzle, make sure you don't hit the one on the right or the entire room will fill up with poison gas. Essentially inflicting you with poison. All right, so we're going to move that there. And we're going to come around the other side. And if I can line my character up, fuck, dude. All right, push it there. Come up behind it. And then literally just put it in place and boom, the puzzle's done. Like I said, it's really not that complicated. Uh, the solution is actually on that chessboard, but I already knew it, so there was really no point in me, you know, examining it, I guess. Do I even have enough space to pick this up? I don't. Fuck, man. God damn it, I guess I'm going in here with Billy too. Fucking hell. Right, anyways. Let's go over here. Grab this, which is the evil book. And in last part, I think it was last part, we got the book of good, and this is the book of evil. And it's exactly the same as the other book that I apparently can't fucking hold. Oh, bro, really? Um, I know, I, I know what I can do. Um, shit, dude. Why am I struggling? I need to pay more attention to my fucking inventory is what I need to do. Uh, exchange. That, okay. Oh, man, I... I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Alright, anyways. Um, I will swap those items back eventually. But for now, let us finally pick up the goddamn book. Will you take the book of evil? Yes, I will. Um, oh, there is something else here. Marcus's Diary 1, which, if I'm not mistaken, is the longest fucking note in the game. So, by all means... Jesus Christ. And this is another reason why I'm not reading these, because I'd be here for fucking ages. Fucking finally, dude. God damn. Alrighty, so we need to head... Uh, we need to head back out to the main hall. Um, there are other... There were two more doors that opened. We can't do anything in either of them right now, so there's really no reason to go to them. Um, so our main goal now is to head back to the main entrance. We picked up the chemical, we picked up the book. Those were, to my knowledge, the only two items that we absolutely needed. All right, now this, this upcoming part, this upcoming part in particular will um, will uh, will tell me whether the playthrough is going to go smoothly or not because there are enemies coming up that I really don't fucking like. And when I say I don't like them, I like fucking despise these sons of bitches, man. And I'm so glad they never appeared in any other fucking RE game. Bro, you know what? Just leave that. Leave the fucking blue herb here. It's fine. Alright, so we've now got that. So we can examine this, which will give us the evil wings. Or the evil wing. Or black wing, whatever you want to call it. Why did I do that? Alright, so that's the second and final statue we need. Now, before anything... Billy's got two healing items, Rebecca has none, so that is a huge fucking problem. Um, 
I'm also really low on grenade shots too. Uh, no. What I'm actually going to do, please tell me I didn't... Please tell me that's a fucking ink ribbon. It's not, is it? Oh no. I may have fucking, I may have fucked up. Nope, there is ink ribbons here. Okay, all right, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Because I, I know what's to come. I know what's to come and I don't want to die. And the chances of me dying are pretty goddamn high. Like, I was, I was legitimately debating on playing this game on easy. I know a lot of people might laugh, but these enemy types, these enemy types are brutal. Alright, so that'll be our fourth save. Let's see how long we've been going for. About 10 minutes. So we're doing alright. we still got about 20 minutes of recording time left. Um... Go ahead and leave these ink ribbons here. Uh, I'm gonna get another free inventory spot once that is used. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab this. <clears throat> All right. So now we need to do is go up to the statue where we use the uh, white statue, and we need to use the black statue as well. And that will open up a passageway to hell because this next area sucks. It sucks so fucking much. Oh boy. Alright. Um, I'm actually half tempted to use Billy here because he has the shotgun with shotgun shells. So that's what I'm gonna do. The AI can just kind of chill there and fucking do whatever it wants. All right, down into the basement we go. Now there's gonna be some spiders here. I missed. I missed. Oh my god, bro! I don't. Oh, fucking hell! Where's the other one? Fuck you, dude! Stupid fucking eight-leg freak. Oh man, if Bass was here, he'd be having a shit fit, dude. He hates fucking spiders. Oh my god, dude. That door is locked, too. Do I want to attempt to run past this fucking guy? No, I'm not going to man- uh, I'm not going to auto-reload. I'm going to do that manually. Thank you. Of course. Okay, cool. We got all three. Now, just to double check, I'm pretty sure this... Yeah, that's what I figured. Tis what I figured, my friends. So let's head on in here. You know, in retrospect, I could have actually just saved in this room the whole fucking time, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but I didn't. So that's something. Ah, another note. Uh, correction, Correctional Institute inmate lists. Alright, cool. Uh, good, we got some more herbs here. Uh, we will need those. Um, I'm trying to remember... Because I know there's a, an event that happens soon. And I need to move Billy somewhere so that fucking Rebecca doesn't die. <clears throat> I'm just trying to remember where that is. Um, okay, now we're good. I don't think there's any enemies in the next room. At least not yet. Can she hold anything? No. Hmm. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, I can. Uh, what I'll do is I'll give Billy the F8 spray temporarily. And what I'm probably going to do is I'm just going to use the green and the blue to get my health back to full. Because I'm looking and that fucking yellow is starting to piss me off. Uh, combine. And use. And now, I can take my F8 spray back. And we are good to go. You stay I, here. Okay. No. No, you don't. Follow me. Yeah. I don't know why I used the blue herb. It literally didn't do anything. Because I'm pretty sure they only heal poison in this game. But I did. 
there any items in here? Yes, yes, yes. I know. Uh, no, there isn't. So we need... I need Billy to... Give her a boost. I'm almost there. Oh, I'm glad I could be of service. Time to go inside. <sighs> All right. So there is a puzzle here. But I already know the solution. So I'm gonna make sure there's no other items in here. Ah, there is a note though. Okay. Got the power regulator. Blah 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 blah. Blah 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 blah. Yeah, you get it. So we have to set it to 70. Now I'm gonna do something and I recommend anyone following along do the exact same thing. So before I solve this puzzle, or even attempt to do the puzzle, we need to move Billy somewhere, and I think I remember where it is. So we need to run back to the main area, like the main hall. And we killed those spiders, so I don't think that's going to be an issue. Or wait. Wait a fucking moment. Is it... Alright, hold on. I have, to, I, have to, I have to look at the map real quick. That's funny, because in part one I said I wasn't going to need any of the maps, but here we are. Alright, so Rebecca's in that room, and I'm currently in this room. I need to be on B2, which I currently don't have the fucking map for, so that that's pointless. Oh man, I really hope it, I hope I don't fuck this up somehow. <clears throat> um, Alright, let's head back up to the main hall. Check how long we've been recording for. Eh, we're coming up to about 20. Alright, so we need to go back into a room where there were, I think, three zombies, and there's probably going to be a fourth one, because I know there is another one that actually is scripted to get up at a certain point, and I think this is where it is. Ah, uh, you fucker. Um, just in case, I guess. Yeah, no, we're not doing that, bud. You can fuck right off. No, and it's that guy that gets up, but he's not getting up right now for some reason. Weird. Alright, so instead of going right where we went in part two, we're going to go down this way. And you might be wondering, well, why are we here? There's steam. Well, don't worry, you will see. So now we're going to go back to uh, Rebecca, and we're going to solve this puzzle. So now, this puzzle's pretty easy. Um, the solution to it is up, down, up. That's literally it. So, you have to hit 70 flat. So it is going to be... Up. Up. Wait, is it? Switching... Uh, hmm. No. Alright, I'm going to cancel. I'm going to try that again. I'm dumb. Oh my god. Um, that doesn't make any fucking sense. Hmm. Alright, I guess I'll do that then. Fuck it. Up. Up. Um. Uh. I think it's up, and then it's down. No, it is not. I've already fucked up, and I think I, I okay. No, I think I know what it is now. So we again, we have to hit seventy flat. I could be at this for a while, dude. Uh, like no joke. Um, up. <clears throat> I like how confident I was coming into this, and now I'm just regretting every life choice up to this point. All right, so down, and then it should be up, up. Please don't make me look like an idiot. Oh, yeah, there we go. So up, up, down, up, up. That is the code. Fuck me, that took longer than I wanted it to. 
All right, so the, that door is now unlocked. And now you see where Billy is. That steam is now gone. You are wasting your time. I have already claimed this place for myself, which means you are trespassing. And I am very territorial. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Fuck those things, dude. There's a monkey on my back. <clears throat> Somehow it is true, then Umbrella will be finished. If the old conspiracy against Dr. Marcus is revealed, Mr. Spencer's career will be over. Not to mention ours, too. So, the time has come at last. What are you going to do? I will simply say goodbye to Umbrella. The biological weapon utilizing the T-Virus has almost been completed. Our only remaining task is to acquire combat data. You can't be serious. I refuse to abandon my work. I have finished the research on the T-Virus, but I need a little more time to complete the more powerful G-Virus. Do as you wish. I will follow my initial plan and lure the STARS members into the mansion. Their superior combat training should make them perfect test subjects. <laughs> Fine. In the meantime, something must be done about that madman. As I recall, URC is equipped with a self-destruct device in the basement. I'll find it, set it off, and annihilate the place to nothing more than a massive rubble. Uh, oh, I can't. Hold on. So we need to go to the room where she's about to fall down into, and I think I remember where it is. I don't exactly know how long the game gives you to do this before she falls off and dies, because there isn't a, a timer displayed on screen. Oh, that's a monkey! That's a mon- that's another monkey! Oh my- oh no, this is bad. This is real bad, this is real bad. I don't like monkeys. No siree. Nope. Oh, you leave me the fuck alone there, fucking Kimosabi. Oh, man. Oh, please tell me this is the room. Oh, it is. Rebecca! Hang on. I'll pull you up. Thank you. Don't mention it. Just keeping my word. We promised to cooperate with each other. Remember? This is Rebecca. Over. Rebecca, this is Enrico. Have you managed to locate Cohen yet? Over. Rebecca, answer me. No, sir. I have not found him yet. I'll continue to search for him. Over. Rebecca. My first mission, and I've already disobeyed orders. So much for my great law enforcement career. Oh well, I probably won't live long enough to worry about it. Billy, I just need to know. I need to know the truth. Did you kill 23 people? I'm not going to judge you. I just want to know the truth. Oh, if he did, I'd judge the fuck out of him. It was around this time last year. All 
Our unit was ordered to Africa to intervene in a civil war. Our mission was to raid a hideout of some guerrilla forces located deep inside the jungle. But the hideout was far away from our entry point. Some died from the heat. Others were killed by the enemy. There was no guerrilla hideout. What do you mean? The idiots in charge had us operating based on wrong information. But we couldn't just go back home empty-handed, oh no. Our leader ordered us to attack an innocent village. Get rid of them! Kill them all! Please, sir! Cease fire immediately! Shut up! Ugh. Do it! That was then, this is now. Besides, you said you wouldn't judge me. I'm not judging you, but it does matter. Look, now my people think you killed those MPs in the van, but I don't think you did. It was those zombie dogs, right? When they attacked the van, you were able to escape. I isn't that right? You don't get it. I've only got two choices left. Either report to the Marines and serve out my sentence, or keep on running for as long as I can. That's all. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, yeah, we're at about eh, we're at about 27 minutes now. So what I'm going to do, if I have enough inventory spaces, I'm going to go ahead and save this part, and uh, <clears throat> we will continue on in the next. Uh, if I can fucking pick up the goddamn ink ribbon, there we go. Fucking Christ. Alright, so let's go ahead and save. Uh, we will be dealing with monkeys in the next episode. My least favorite fucking enemy in the entire game, so that should be interesting. Um, as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, and whenever this fucking typer stops typing, there we go. And uh, yeah, I will uh, talk to you guys in the next one.